Bluetooth and Wi-Fi both exist in the same 2.4 gigahertz band, often sharing the same antenna. It can be tricky to get a device employing both technologies to work efficiently. It can lead to bad behavior and interfere with good performance. To perform their best, devices need to behave in an orderly fashion. With people, it's easy to tell if they're behaving properly, but how can you tell if the Bluetooth and 802.11 in your device are getting along? Frontline's Compro protocol analysis system can be configured with a number of different hardware interfaces to capture any Bluetooth protocol or profile, all in the same software. Technologies include classic Bluetooth, low energy Bluetooth, 802.11, USB, high speed serial, and SDIO. CPAS is the only analyzer on the market that covers all Bluetooth protocols and profiles up to and including Bluetooth 4.0 plus HS. For example, if you're analyzing a device that's transferring files over Bluetooth 4.0 plus HS, you need a tool to show you what your device is saying and when it's saying it. First, we need to connect the proper hardware interfaces to capture the data we need to analyze. You simply plug in Frontline's Comprobe BPA500 for classic Bluetooth and our Comprobe 802.11 for the Wi-Fi data. Analyzing coexistence means looking at when Bluetooth and 802.11 packets are being sent out over the air. To do this right, we need to know exactly when these packets are being sent. The BPA500 and the Comprobe 802.11 both have very precise clocks, but no matter how accurate these clocks are, one is going to be slightly different than the other. To solve this problem, Frontline has come up with a technology we call ProbeSync. Using ProbeSync, we connect the clock in the BPA500 to the Comprobe 802.11 so that both interfaces use the BPA500's clock to assign timestamps to Bluetooth packets and 802.11 packets. This way, both technologies can be displayed in perfect synchronization. Capturing data with CPAS is easy, as you can see. Here, we're looking at the CPAS frame display. Every packet is timestamped, so we could look through the frame display and compare timing on Bluetooth and 802.11 packets here, but that would be awfully tedious, wouldn't it? CPAS has a better way the coexistence view. In the coax view, the packets are shown the way we need to see them, graphically over time. How's our throughput? Just check out the throughput graph. The throughput graph also serves as a way to navigate through the capture file. Just drag the vertical slider to the spot you want to look at more closely. Tooltips on the packet show you the details of each frame. The Frontline Compro protocol analysis system gives you the tools you need to turn this into this.